Hi, this is Pastor RJ. Once again, we are in our daily devotional. Our scripture passage this morning is found in 1 Kings chapter 17, verses 1 to 4. Now Elijah the Tishbite from Tishbe in Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, whom I serve, there will be neither dew nor rain in the next few years, except at my word. Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah, Live here, turn eastward, and hide in the Kerit Ravine, east of the Jordan. You will drink from the brook, and I have directed the ravens to supply you with the food there. The Lord bless us upon the reading of his word. Okay, so who is King Ahab? Who is Elijah? And who is God that he is serving? So first, Ahab. Ahab married Jezebel. So Jezebel from Sidon, Tyre Sidon, who is worshipping Baal and Asherah. Okay? So Baal is the god of thunder and rain. And his wife is Asherah. Okay? So that is the god of the wife of Ahab, Jezebel. So now Ahab worshipped these gods. And he built, erected for Baal and for Asherah all over Samaritan. Okay, so that is his kingdom, the northern kingdom. The, the, the southern kingdom is the Jerusalem. The northern kingdom is the king is Ahab, who has the control of ten tribes. Okay, so now a, a prophet from province went to the city, Samaria. And declared to the king, no appointment needed. If you're a prophet in their time, you don't have an appoint you don't need an appointment for a president to talk to. So he just went there and tell him what he thinks God is telling him. So if you notice it is says it is said there the word of the Lord came to Elijah. It started in verse two. It did not start it in verse 1. So this is the assumption of Elijah that there will be no rain except at my word. And God will honor my word. <laughs> okay, so Elijah has really strong faith with this one. And why do you think Elijah declared such thing? You see, Baal and Asherah, Baal is the god of thunder and fertility. Baal is basically in Canaan, the God of rain. So right now, Elijah, El means God, Jah means Yahweh. That's why the Lord is my God. I am not worshipping Baal. I am not worshipping Asherah. That is his name. That is the message, his name. The Lord, the God, the Lord is my God. Okay? So going back, Elijah is challenging, not Ahab, not Jezebel. He's challenging the God that they are worshipping, Baal, the God of thunder. Okay, you said that your God is the God of thunder and rain. Okay, I will tell you, there will be no rain except at my word. Not except at your God's word. Except at my word. So after he challenged it, the Lord, the word of the Lord came to Elijah. So that's when the word of the Lord came to Elijah. And he was asked by the Lord to hide in Kerit Ravine, to hide beside the river because he will become a most wanted. What is with Elijah that we don't have? Elijah is a normal person. Okay? Do not think that Elijah is someone who has supernatural power because he withhold rain for three and a half years. Okay? Look at James. James 5, 17 and 18. It says here in James 5, 17 and 18, Elijah was just like us. He's a normal person. Okay, let me go here. James 5, 17 and 18. Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Again, he prayed the heavens, gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. 
So Elijah was just like us. He prayed earnestly that it will not rain, it will not rain, Lord. And then it happened. Okay, so what was in Elijah's mind that he was able to challenge the king and said, no, you're not right. Because Elijah read God's word. He knows the Bible. So what is in Deuteronomy 11, 6 and 7 says, this is the promise of God. Okay, so Deuteronomy 11, 16 and 17. Be careful or you will be enticed to turn away and worship other gods and bow down to them. Check. They are worshiping other gods, Baal and Asherah. So, if this is my experience, what does the word of the Lord says? Then the Lord's anger will burn against them and he will shut up the heavens so that it will not rain and the ground will yield no produce and you will soon perish from the good land the Lord is giving you. Okay? So you heard. So Elijah read this and he said, my experience is telling me this. We are worshipping Baal right now and it is not good because it's a national religion anymore and we are worshipping these pagan gods. So Elijah went from the mountain and go to the city and he told them, the word of the Lord, sabi sa Bible, the word of the Lord said, if you are worshipping other idols, if you are worshipping other gods, then I can declare this, there will be no rain. Okay? So you see, Elijah read God's word, believe God's word, and declare God's word. When he saw his experience is the same with the Bible, and so he looked at the promise and declared the promise. You see, the word of God is above our experience. For example, your experience says that if you don't have work, there will be no money, no food. Nothing to provide. But the word of the Lord said, I will provide all your needs. Do not worry. Even the birds in the air have food. Okay? So, you declare the word of God. You believe the word of God that it will happen in your life. That is the life of Elijah. He has a strong belief in the word of God that whatever he says, according to the word of God, will happen. So that's becoming a servant of God, a follower of His Word. That you don't just read the Word of God. You see, belief is something we hold. Oh, I, I read this, I believe this, I believe this. That's something we hold. But conviction is something that holds us. It's controlling us. It's making our framework for the decision making. And the framework is the Word of God. Okay, so. Elijah and you are the same being, human being. What separates him from us is his belief with the Word of God. He did not declare something that is outside from the Word of God because do you know what God cannot do? God cannot break His promises. He will keep His Word. He will keep His Word even when it hurts. He is a king. And a king, when he declares a word, it becomes a law. Just like here in the Philippines, the lawmakers, our senators, and uh, executive orders, our president, when they declare it, then it becomes a law and, the, and the, the people will follow it, will obey it. Same with God, he is a king, so when he says something, it becomes a law that it will take place. So in the Philippines, if you want to change the law, there will be amendment and amendment and amendment. Oh, we have... We have that's in this one. So we will amend this law so that it can benefit this side. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is God is a king and his word is a law. So when he says he will provide, he will do it. Amen. <laughs> so I'm carried away. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is this 2021, prepare your hearts. Read God's word. Believe God's word. And declare God's word to your life, to your family, and to your circumstances. So that your circumstances will obey the word of God. Your experience will obey the word of God. The nature will obey the word of God. 
Because in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He said, let there be light. He did just word. He said, effortless. Because His word is a law. And everybody, the heavenly beings, the angelic beings will run to obey those words. And those words must be fulfilled. That's why it is written in the Bible, when my word goes out from my mouth, it will accomplish what it is called to accomplish. Nothing can stop it. Okay, so that is the message for us today. May we be encouraged and become like Elijah, that we will believe God's word, that whatever he says, we will declare it in our circumstances. The Lord bless us all. The Lord bless you. May He prosper you. May the Lord bless the works of your hand. May you, the Lord heal you if you are sick. May the Lord touch your body right now if you need healing. The Lord bless your family. May you experience refreshment from the Lord and may you be reconciled with the people that you are in enmity with. The Lord bless your business. The Lord prosper your business. The Lord provide for the salary of your employees. The Lord bless you if you're an entrepreneur, that God will send more clients to you, that He will sustain your business, and God will give you wisdom in developing your business, in sustaining your momentum, in keeping with your bills. The Lord bless you to pay all your debts. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord bless us all. Thank you for watching. All the best. If you want to support this ministry, the Mutual Homes Gospel Christian Church Ministry, you can give your offering or donation to the Gcash number that we will be providing. It is for the expansion of God's kingdom and for the development of the ministry that we can reach more people and we can help more people in the poverty line to provide for their food. The Lord bless us all and thank you for your generous heart. If God touched your heart to give, any amount will do. We appreciate it. And if you want to give, kindly send your receipt in this page as well. You can record it. Okay? The Lord bless you more and may God's face shine upon you. The Lord bless us all. Hello, thank you for watching. If you are near Mutual Homes, Soldiers Hills, and if you are looking for a church, we are excited to meet you in person. We would love to have you. So see you this Sunday. Bye!